So we're waking up in our new house, in our tiny home. Yeah, we got a good house. I don't know why I cry when I'm happy, that's weird. Before you watch the rest of this video, guess and comment below where you think we moved to. Howdy. Wyo, Russ here. And Chris. We had a place in Bozeman. I technically did not own it, but you were there for 25 years. With my business partner owning in the business, yeah. And I was there for about 12 years. It was a bed and breakfast. There was a total of 10,000 square feet of living space. 12 bathrooms. When I first met Chris, he was always saying something like, he wants to downsize to a house where he could like stand in the front door and piss out the back. And we almost got that. <laughs> Downsizing from 10,000 square feet to a much smaller house in a different state. So this could be our last time in front of this house. <laughs> kind of crazy. Someone's else. Florida. <laughs> Will it be St. Pete? Will it be Miami Sprawl? Will it be Stewart? We don't know. So this is the last breakfast. The Lyricine Mansion, my last set of guests, checked in May the 31st. There it is. Cooking one more breakfast and then no more Lyricine Mansion bed and breakfast exists. It'll become a private home and uh, see my tears are running down. Just emotional. Why do you have to feel me cry? This is the last time. Because you've done this for 25 years. Beyond that, who knows? We don't even know where we're sleeping on the 14th of June. <laughs> Probably Nathan's last. Time in the house. It'll be cool just to pass by. I don't remember the good times here. Yeah, my head looks huge. I look like a giant. Yeah, just that you're like. I know it's, it's not the, like two feet closer, but it, it changed. The, like, yeah, now I have a. Saying. It's all about the perspective. I don't, and I want to stay in back because my head's naturally the biggest old melon on the block. <laughs> which head are you talking about? <laughs> I know which one. <laughs> the hairy one. <laughs> And the guests love you, Chris. And you go out of your way to make their stay pleasant. It's what an innkeeper does. Honestly, this was never what I wanted to do, personally. But I stepped up for this guy. This guy right here. Not owner, not invested, but invested your your energy and time. Helping me out. Because of love. When we first met, we hit it off by planting trees together. It is getting big. It's, it's a purple robe black locust tree. That tree right there, it was as tall as you, and now that represents our relationship. It's tall and strong. Our relationship has grown. So this tree is like a symbol of our relationship. You better not die. <laughs> <laughs> this tree better not croak. The tree died, but... Oh no, but we have other symbols too, because we planted more than this tree. That one, and then go show the other one. And then that one. We bonded with nature. We bonded with uh, digging holes. Digging holes and planting trees. We're leaving soon. Like tomorrow, we close, nine o'clock. Holy this shoot. This is our last night's sleeping house. We're sleeping on a mat on the floor. I've lifted so much heavy antique stuff <coughs> that my back is actually kind of hurting. I didn't want to move any of it. And now we're just storing it. We had to get it all out because the they next didn't want people, it. Yeah, the next people in this house did not want all of it. Do we want it? No. My business partner and I bought it. For this yeah, yeah, house. Yeah. You didn't buy it for the house. I didn't buy My it. My business partner and I bought it for this house. I wanted to move out of this place with you, my clothes, and my books. And after us boxing up all those thousands of books, I'm even th rethinking the books. We are leaving Bozeman. It's been a crazy last month since we sold the place and then had to clear everything out of 10,000 square feet in 13 days. If we could afford Bozeman, this would be a great spot. It's booming, there's people walking, people wanna be here, storefronts are full, cool restaurants, bike shops and coffee shops. It's just an awesome town. Bozeman's the first city that I ever lived in that I was like openly myself. I was openly gay slash bisexual. People have been very accepting for the most part. After selling the bed and breakfast, Chris and I had no idea what we were gonna do. Our friends Mike and Kelly were like, hey, do you guys wanna come to the Portland area and house sit for us? It was supposed to be a three month thing. We ended up house sitting for two years. I'd meet friends and acquaintances in Portland and they'd ask me, are you staying in the Portland area? And I'd often say, no, I'm planning on moving to Florida with my husband. And the response, luckily not from everybody. You know, I had, my friend Joel was very supportive when I said, hey, I, I wanna move to Florida. So I don't wanna overgeneralize everybody. But a lot of people in the Portland area, this is their response. Why would you live in Florida? The politics are so crazy there. They hate gay people. I would tell people, they'd be like, oh, are you staying in Portland? I'm like, no, I think I'm gonna move to Florida, me and my husband. And they'd be like, ooh, gross. And I was like, what is it? The heat or the uh, hurricanes? I mean, that's kind of gross. <laughs> that sucks, right? No, that's they're scary. Like, they're like, no, it's not that. It's 
Florida likes Trump and they like DeSantis and they're racist and homophobic. I'm like, oh my gosh, way to overgeneralize a whole group of people. I posted a snake picture of a water moccasin. Hammock State Park in Central Florida. I can understand someone being like, oh, don't get so close. That's dangerous or whatnot. But people were like, ooh, gross, Florida. You better watch out. There's a lot of haters there. I'm like, it's a freaking picture of a snake. <laughs> Why can't you just appreciate nature? Did you get that too in Portland? What? When you would tell somebody you were thinking about Florida? Well, yeah. Yeah, most people are like, oh, Florida, it's horrible. They're flor horrible people, but they're not horrible people. People get like so uh, bogged down sometimes that I just wish they would give places a chance. A lot of people haven't even been to Florida. Sometimes people are too hard on Portland too. And they'll be like, Portland's this or that. And they haven't even been there or they're not really looking at the whole picture of how beautiful that area actually is. I enjoyed living in Portland. Of course I saw the homeless and it was disturbing. And of course I saw the graffiti and the trash. It's a dirty city. It's a grungy city, but it has good bones, good bridges. It's a city surrounded by nature. If you love nature, you would love Portland. It has some of the best hiking you'll ever do. So this is Tunnel Falls. Definitely one of my favorite hikes I've ever done. It's about 46 miles from Portland. I think it's 12 miles round trip. On the way to Tunnel Falls, you're passing multiple waterfalls. Or... It was a beautiful spot. I met really good friends. That's the important thing. I feel like no matter where you go, you'll meet good and bad people, and hopefully you'll meet some good friends. How'd you like the hike, bro? <laughs> it was really good. Okay, the truth of the matter is we love the Portland area. The vegetation there was just lovely. Everything was green almost all year. This is Crystal Springs Rhododendron Garden. Mm -hmm. so this is the place you've been volunteering. I volunteered one day. Oh, that's, that's all? <laughs> that's all, yeah. Then I messed up my back. I thought it was like But now I can come days, back again. So you've been here, is this the third time? Fourth time. I love the bridge there. Yeah, it's a pretty bridge. It's kind of nice. It's so quiet. Last time we were here, it was busy. Well, we're here two hours before technically opening because I'm a member. Da, da, da. And so... It's the VIP like, treatment. The, yeah, it's like they have like four times a month when members can get in for about two hours when the general public isn't in. So you can have the garden quieter. It's an azalea, but look at the color on that thing. How purple it is. Yeah. That's azalea. what I want to get mom. We both really enjoyed the Portland area, but we couldn't afford that market. We were real tough cookies to work with. We were looking for a home under $300,000. Try to do that anywhere in the United States in today's crazy, crazy market. It certainly wasn't going to work in Bozeman. You can't really touch a home for twice that in Bozeman, Montana. Bye-bye, Bozeman. Uh, we ended up almost getting in a home in Atlanta, Georgia. Had an accepted offer only to find out under inspection that it was eaten apart by termites and mold. We withdrew our offer there. We made our way to Florida to spend time with family. And then we found ourselves going over to St. Pete, which we had considered early on, just on a fluke. So are you liking St. Petersburg? You know I love it. I don't like it. I love it. I do too. This is how I actually look, like this. But when I'm like this, it makes my nose look huge. See how your head looks big? Yeah. Well, that tells me something about how you should take certain shots. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Perspective is key, right? Yeah. If you're going to take those kind of shots, take it in perspective. And just perspective in a place, too. Mm -hmm. Like, when you go to a place, we tend to like every place we go to. Think about it. People kind of make fun of us for yeah. it. And I think ultimately it's a good thing. It's not that we don't see the bad. I mean, you will see the bad. It's just as annoying when someone never sees bad. When they're like, everything is rainbows and butterflies. We don't want to hear anything negative. It's like, that's annoying too. But in general, you got to make the best of your situation. Right now, what are our priorities? Warmth, fruit trees, uh, uh, affordable market, market, uh, a market that we could actually buy a house. Closer Being to together, my family. Closer to your family. The beach. Palm trees. And look right here. A little, I don't know if they're tangerines or kumquats or what they are. A little citrus plant is growing in the hedgerow here. See, this is why we wanted to live here. <laughs> oh, you can even eat the peeling on this. So this is a kumquat. Ooh, good, they're sour. <laughs> Lots of seeds. It tastes good though. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that we have these, <laughs> not personally, but 
It's going wild here. One of the big things is a lot of people will pick a house that is big in a place that's maybe less desirable. And I, I can see the appeal to that. I would rather have a smaller house in a place like St. Pete, because most of the houses are small here, and be in the weather, the nice weather, and where you can grow tropical fruit. Yep, I see how you say your arm gets tired. Oh yeah. Selfie stick, that's what we need. You need to get a camera so you can start doing the vlogging. Mm -hmm. Round two, where Chris actually has his opinion too. I hope that we just keep on making videos and see, and be willing to pivot. I don't want to be like too stuck in a box. I want us to be real with what's going on in our lives, but I don't know. It's hard to know where we're going to end up. We're still looking at houses. We don't know where we're going to end up, but I think we're open, you know? Maybe it'll be somewhere near St. Pete. I like this house. Ooh. Well, you can tell that this vinyl siding on this house was added later. See how loose it is? It's like the whole thing feels wonky. Yeah. Let's just submit a look. I think it's asbestos shingle because it's flaky. They attach into asbestos. So what kind of damage does that do? This vinyl siding is breaking down. So you're going to have to reside this and then you have an issue with, you have to deal with the asbestos shingles. And then it could be an actual health concern. We're afraid this lives. Ooh. Yeah. Someone would break in your house. Yeah, the pot was in front of termite damage. This whole door frame has to be replaced. Ooh. Yeah, that all needs actually replaced. Yeah. Kind of interesting patio over there. I guess that would be, That'd the, be the shut off. Yeah, that's the, it's just one shut off. And who knows when it's last shut off. <laughs> so we went to some open houses and we got to see a lot that we were like, hmm, probably not. We were at Publix and in the pet aisle, we met a fellow named Jim. He was friendly, definitely very welcoming. He's got a studio called St. Pete Massage Therapy. Definitely feel free to go check it out if you want to. Anyways, he was in the pet section buying cat litter. We were buying food for Fievel. We got to talking about how we're trying to move here to St. Pete. And he had some suggestions for realtors. He suggested Heather Stotts. And that's how we got our realtor, Heather. So this is our realtor, Heather. Hi. <laughs> We've looked at how many houses now? Oh, I don't know, maybe 15? They start running together after they a while. They do. They do. They you have do to like, you sure. make up nicknames, right? Like yeah. we got the I, pool house yeah. and then uh, the dog poop house. But that just happens. <laughs> that just happens. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's kitty, kitty pee house. Or like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of those lately. Although luckily you haven't seen any, but. What's like the worst thing that you've seen? One time we had a house. It was an investor house and you opened the door and cockroaches fell on one of my agents. Ooh. Just like raining cockroaches. <laughs> I think that's the worst that I've ever the, seen. The raining cockroach Raining house. cockroach house. Yeah, it was not cute. Yeah, that would not be a fun day no, after not that. at all if you want to see a grown woman scream and run down the street cockroaches yeah that would do it would that be like a settling thing is it's, it just the block the in seams the seams in the block okay that, that start to give way and you can tell where like they've tried to repair them if they were in a different pattern than the seams then that would be worrisome okay. and if they were bigger than that that small crack that would be worrisome as well on you, both sides on both holes. sides i've seen uh critter intrusion mm -hmm. and i like my animals but I don't like them in my ceiling and in my roof. It's but I imagine it's just like part of like life in Florida, it is. right? Yep. But there's an easy way to take there. You, you can put something on there that okay. does the same thing, but does not allow that. Exactly. So the windows were put in in the 90s? I don't know if that to be fact. It's just the style. That's usually the style. You don't, you don't see a lot of them with the grid anymore. So here's a benefit of replacing the windows in an old house. Over a billion birds are lost a year, they think, in flying into windows. They oh see gosh. it as a reflection and they just fly right into it. They don't understand windows oh, like we yeah. do. One of my goals is having bird-friendly windows, which have a UV pattern that okay. the birds see, that they see UV light, okay. where we don't. If we buy a house where we have to replace the windows, it's going to be an expense. We could bump that expense up, but do the windows that I think we should be Eventually. using. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> yeah. Eventually. So when we do it, when we get that money in our pocket, That's right. we'll do it. And there's other simple treatments you can do in all windows. You just take a, it's a white marker type pen and you put vertical stripes every four inches just to thin Thin dry on the outside. Birds see that. That's the cheapest way to go to protect your birds. So sand in the yard is part of being in Florida. Yep. We were on a beach at one time. <laughs> <laughs> I like the windows in here though. There's yeah. two decent sized windows. Mm -hmm. And these rooms are actually pretty good size. There's a lot you could do with this house. I'd say the, the pros. Pros is space. Space. No, three bedrooms, two baths. That was like major on our list. Uh, pros, sidewalks. Pros close to just very, very easy walk to grocery store, uh, more planting space in the yard itself overall. 
Uh, the floors, I would say, are more to my liking too. It's a mechanism that pulls out the shelf oh, for you? But it's not. Oh, it's probably because it's not connected on the other side. Oh! Yeah. You just need a little cleaning, you know? I'll probably have some grease on me, but I don't care. Okay, I got it. Let's see if that... Oh, never mind, there's a reason. That's the worst case, you just disconnect it and clean it. When you have more time, just put more elbow grease in it. This one is in a slightly better neighborhood. Distant Heights is rated A on Mitch. We can go to Publix and go to the grocery store and there's all those businesses. And the other one's a little bit more tucked in there, which I like, but what's better for yourself? This is technically a little closer to the road, which could off put some people. Let's go to the other house. This is a quieter neighborhood. Hi. Hello, hey. hey Justin. My name is Justin Grubbs with Home Integrity Home Inspections, Clearwater, Florida. If you look for Home Integrity like Instagram, Facebook, we're on there. It's a nice little place though. It is. All these little homes okay, right here, they're just built right. The dimensional lumber up there, the plank sheathing, it's just all meant to last. Nowadays they use OSB and plywood and they just don't have the longevity as that but dimensional lumber. Amanda's the one that's thinner and is going to crawl around and look at everything. Hi Amanda. Hi. Is it okay if I film? I do have a YouTube channel though. Oh, do you? Yeah, I mean, I don't have to film you or nothing. Okay, but... just don't put my face on there. Okay, I, I oh, but won't. It's a beautiful face though. You... It is a beautiful you. face. Who knows? <laughs> you. Yeah, you've got good original plank sheathing up here. It hasn't been replaced. I'm not seeing any areas that look like there have been any major leaks or it's nice and dry. We like it. <laughs> Well, I called one of my best agents, Gina, and I was like, okay, girl, I'm like three bedroom, two bath, close to shopping, or two bedroom, one bath with a pool. Which one would sell better later on? And she's like, pool all day. Okay. Like, okay, pool. For our quality of life, a right. pool. We're hearing at least the summers get hot, have a pool. It's like, you know what? That sounds fun. You're going to meet so many people down here, and everybody's going to come to your house and have pool parties. Trust me, that happens at my house all the time. So awesome. he's always like, how come no one ever invites us to their house? Because we have the pool. <laughs> That's why. But why can't we do something with this room out here to make more space? Once you get all of the ADA stuff out of here, right? And then this two, is nice. Gina and I were talking, you, ha you have water over here. If you could even put a half bath off the pool somewhere, that raises the value tremendously. There's no re this is already here. There's no reason why you can't close some stuff in and, and make a, a laundry or a, you know, laundry slash bathroom somewhere. There's a lot of potential with this lot. And honestly, there's a good amount of space right here for Chris to plant. And then we can put up a privacy fence. That'll make the pool so much more appealing just to have plants and everything and feel like you're in a jungle. So pretty. Yeah, and you got your shed. Even this room is not as add on. It was built as, was built. Yeah, it's as, built. as the block structure as a laundry room. So this house probably when it was built and sold was more expensive because laundry rooms weren't an inside thing. A lot of houses that you see had to add on because the laundry was actually outside or they didn't have it at all. The bones in this place just feel better. And we know for later on in life, you'll be just fine. Cause we know what we can you do. You put it back. Well, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Rude. <laughs> but you never know, you never know. You're, you're not uh, typically hey, that big of an hey, asshole. We, <laughs> You're 27 years older than me. I know. We have to think about these realities. But, but I'm going to start going to the with you. gym with you and I'm going to start kicking butt. I'm talking when you're 95. You got your own gym right out here. Yeah. yeah you and, and you just leave the holes there. We can just add that in there, add that thing back. So, you know, when you have yeah. to lower you in the pool. Just, just remove this <laughs> temporarily is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Make sure we store all this. We might need Save a storage unit. <laughs> Save up for it. <laughs> You're older than my parents. What happens when people take care of their parents? I mean, that, that does happen. Like, this is kind of like a uh, standard Poor stuff. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, deal. I, I, I know the reality of the matter. Oh, I, I get it on Except the flip I'm going to be a real. I'm the young guy. You know, I'm like, oh, I got more experience. Good so. I'm going to be. Just you are giving you hell. You're going to need a ramp at like 99. <laughs> I, I hope you are one of those crotchety old men. Just giving it that you have no filter whatsoever. <laughs> So I have a grandmother that lived to be 99. Okay. And she was still making the two acre garden with an old tiller tractor taller than her at 82. I'm sure that's so probably why she was. was. Exactly. Cause she was moving. It's yeah. when you stop is when all that happens. And another lived to 90. And I, I honestly think that it was a decision. I want to be one of those centenarian dudes. Right. Or a hundred Have you all out the blue zones? Uh-uh. I'm going to make this little house a blue zone. <laughs>
I'm going to do 101. <laughs> if you're going to do it, like make it in the record book or something, right? Although I think the oldest person is like way over that. But you've got to make it to 100 with your mind and your body you do. in a decent condition. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't want to be like, I mean, if you have dementia, no, like my grandpa has dementia. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's a tough life. We just went through that with Sammy's dad that was rough. After filming this, my grandpa passed away. This is not the most energy efficient type of window, but it is. No, but you can shut the door for now. Yeah, and that's not hot in here right now. It will be in the summer. It will be, but that's the best thing. Like we said, you get one of those uh, ACs that you get to the building outside. It'll be fine. It's a homerier, welcoming feeling. It has good energy there. It's got good energy. And this well, stove probably works better. They live for a while, <laughs> yeah. too. This stove probably yeah. works better than the last one, even though it's older. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And you know what we do right now anyway? We don't use a dishwasher now. We're the dishwashers. I have a dishwasher. I'm the dishwasher. I love it. I, I like this house too, and we can redesign the kitchen a little bit, but keep yeah. the sink by the window. Yeah. Keep, oh yeah, that, you do not eliminate a sink by a window. <laughs> the front porch area in this house is freaking incredible. It almost feels like it's just an, a wraparound front porch. Yeah. I guess the four pillars, well, I just want to like, the four pillars of the inspection, like the roof. The roof's going to need to be repaired or replaced within the next 10 years. That's about what, for a, uh, let's say a metal roof. 50, uh, 50, 50 years, and then it, for the, uh, the square footage, what would that cost? You know, this little house, 20,000? Maybe, maybe even less, depending on the material you choose. I know a guy does a good job. He's a veteran, like myself, comes out, nothing hits the ground. Everything is collected. Okay. Yeah. I hate it when people and come in and there's nails and scraps and things I mean, everywhere that I have to pick mm -hmm. up. No, he doesn't do that. He dress right dress, he polices everything up, and all his employees you can talk to. Thank you for your service. Yeah, no problem. Way. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Where did you serve? Were you Army? Army. Yeah. Army. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. How many years? I did nine. Nine years. Nine years, two deployments. I went to Afghanistan and in Iraq. Gives me chills. It was a good time. Figured Long time. Probably the best friends you ever right. had. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Right. Still today. Electrical appears good. I've been in all your boxes. All the breakers look good. There's nothing that stands out that says... This is an issue. So the roof is something that we have to consider eventually, and then the HVAC eventually. Yeah, and then the plumbing. Amanda did most of that. Okay. She didn't, if there's something, she'll bring it right up to me that there's an issue. We got PVC and copper. Cool, so we'll and we're out of the flood zone, so that's good. Yeah. We're, we're, I'm from Wyoming. This is very different. Yeah. But I like the weather yeah. right now. The summers are hot, don't get me wrong, but as long as you got AC, everything's tolerable. I'd say the same thing. It's cold in Wyoming, but as long as you got some heat, you're all right. Right? I mean, you're stuck inside for a bit no because way. of the uh, you know the cold. Well, here you'll be stuck inside because of the so heat. Hot. Exactly right. You can't have perfect, man. No, it doesn't exist. No. I'd rather it be hot though because when you go outside, you can lay by the pool. Hurricane comes through and all your neighbors don't got no power. You're the heroes. You can plug it. It's got a hot right there, and the plug sitting right on the gas tank. You can see it. So you'll have breakers in there that the generator will power. Oh, this is a well. Yeah, it goes down to a well. <laughs> How sweet is that? Yeah, so your irrigation isn't city water or... That, that's actually a score. Thank you so much. No problem. You've been Pleasure. very, very, very helpful. Oh, yeah, just absolutely. Thank you. That's what we do. No mold. No termites. Nothing. Good bones, yeah. even in the main parts of the wood. It's yeah. like, oh. He said it passed all the four points, so you'd be able to get insurance. So that's usually what we look for. But again, read through it and make sure there's no make or breaks. And if there is, then we'll go back and talk to the agent and say, hey, this is a this is a break for us. Can you fix it? And we'll see what they say. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. Yeah, appreciate it. Of course. After the inspection for the house, nothing was official. In the meantime, Chris and I went to Lake June in Florida to visit our friends, Dale and Jim. They had a connection to Lake June pontoons and we rented a boat and I got to drive the boat. Coxon, Wild Russ, and Co-Coxon, five hole. Just pick a tree out there in the distance and hit straight for it. Want me to go a little faster? Sure. Can I get you guys? Sure. There's Jim in the back of Jim's throne. And here is Dale. So are you an official captain? Cause you drive, you, you uh, do big boats, right? Or are you a coxswain if you're admiral. in this boat? Admiral. You're an admiral? Seriously. I'm a passenger. I haven't sat in that seat yet. No, I'm not a coxswain yet. Here we go. There they are. Jeez. Oh, watch out for the bats. What, the bats? Cool. Oh, I thought you said the bats. Okay, you know how bats look like. Oh, I would want to see them. I know. I like bats. You can room. barely make it. I know. That's because it's high water right now. I love you. And our friend Jim, he's a drone pilot. 
I did not take this footage he did. Well, you can take a clip possibly from it and then put a link to his video on that. If you ever wanna have drone footage and you're in Florida, check him out. When I'm in Florida, I'm inspired. I'm thinking of all of the things I could do. It's like, oh, I could fish here. I can start canoeing or kayaking. And I like the wildlife here. We were staying with our friend Dale. His property had gopher tortoises and it had that like Florida bush look, beautiful skies. There's at least a little bit of this. It reminds me of like Jurassic Park. So we have a gopher tortoise here and it's called that because they dig, right? Oh yeah. Hey buddy. Those claws would myrtleize you. They can dig tunnels 70 feet long and 20 feet deep. So currently we are locked in a contract. A contract for a house. Locked into a contract. That could be anything, but we're locked into a contract for a house. This is St. Petersburg, Florida, and this is where we live now. You have to film this though. <laughs> oh yeah, you're crying with tears of joy. It's loud, but tears of joy. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, we got a good house. I feel really good. I don't know why I cry when I'm happy. That's weird, but I'm good. I'm happy. We got the house. It was Perfect. Perfect. It was even, it, it has bonuses beyond what we ever even asked for. And that's what my mother was praying for and your mother was praying for and a lot of other people. Or putting good vibes out there, whether or not you believe in God or whatever you believe. Calling prayers, calling good energy. I don't even care what you call all that yeah, stuff. It's just good. good intentions for people. Yeah. Our nieces are going to want to visit for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> and my mom and my sister and that's what we want. Our families will come visit us. <laughs> yes. And I think they'll find what we're going to make it even more. Yeah. More better. We're going to have a food forest around our house. What should we name this house? We'll let it tell us. Okay. We got blanket sheets, pillows, an air mattress, uh, protectors, a little bit of food, towels. Two cuts of cheese. This is and it is closing in like a minute. Or I think it's closed now. It's closed. We barely made it. <laughs> oh no. It's a pink lock. <laughs> this is your yard, bud. Hey, Fievel, you ready to see the house? It smells like old people in here. We bought it just for Fievel. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, you like it? <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness, yay. Oh, he got it. He got one more one. He got a carpet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. He got a house. House. The wallpaper is pretty terrible. <laughs> it was a lady that lived here last, probably, because it's got some pink, purpley flowers. Two free bars of ivory soap. I'm surprised the tile work's not bad. Mm -mm. It's not amazing, but it ain't bad. It's not bad. It's been replaced at one point. Yeah. So this house was built in 1954. It's still like the, the youngest house we've been in. <laughs> Your mom's house. I mean, that we've lived in. You and I have lived in. Together. So we're waking up in our new house. Mm -hmm. On our air mattress. In our tiny home. It's not truly a tiny home, but it's pretty close. It's 750 square feet under air is how it's listed. And then we have a Florida room and a utility room. I am dreaming with this house. But I can see us adding a bathroom someday and putting up a privacy fence. And we're starting to add the fruit trees already. I'm distressed. I wanted to get these planted all day long. We're, getting, we're doing it now. Here okay, it let's we're do now it. Just and you gotta admit, it's pretty cool. When we had the mansion, one of the things that we did that helped us bond was planting a tree together. Now we're planting another tree. <laughs> <laughs> this tree better not croak. <laughs> So this tree is like a symbol of our relationship. But we have other symbols too, because we planted more than this tree. That one, and then go show the other one. And then that one. We bonded with nature. We bonded with- uh, Digging holes. Digging holes and planting trees. We like have a relationship and we plant a tree together. That's good. That's gotta be good karma. Mm -hmm. Even though when we were planting that mango, we were actually kind of arguing that day. Come on, come Come here, bud. Lay down. Lay down. So these two limbs, I think we're oh facing in. Yeah. And turn it the other way, right the opposite direction. Turn it so that these limbs are facing. Wait, wait, wait. Let's turn it this way. I, that's what I told you before, but you actually, I know, but I'm just hearing and listening. It was just like a total waste of breath. And I was just talking to myself. 
you were being kind of like mean that day. I, I don't know why. It was just like you were being controlling that day. Yes, you did figure it out. Oh, because you had an MSG headache. Mm -hmm. He gets MSG and he gets G. <laughs> and sometimes things are tough while you're going through them, but the end result is going to be eating mangoes off that tree. Mm -hmm. And so we have now downsized <laughs> to our just our own place. We don't really clean for anyone else. And there's one bathroom, <laughs> so one toilet to clean. Even though I would love one more bathroom, having 12 bathrooms like we had, all that cleaning, all of that maintenance for everything, all the extra space, it's just mm. too much for me. It was always too much for you. It's, it's really too much for me. It was a business. The only thing I wish is having a bigger yard. So I, wonder, I do wish we had a bigger yard. I wonder if, if you would have felt better, uh, excuse me, or if either of us would have felt different about having a bigger house if we weren't the ones cleaning the bigger house. I mean, if your only experience was living in a gorgeous big house and you just walk through it and enjoy it and, uh, you know, sip your coffee and what have you, that'd be one thing potentially, but we were always vacuuming all those rooms. It seems like there was always something wrong with the toilet. <laughs> when you have 12 of them, things break. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day though, I like kind of being more modest. I like the modest houses. Anything else? Just we're loving our neighborhood, it's diverse. We have people of Cambodian descent, Vietnamese descent, all over Africa descent, Europe. Oh, and Syria. There's an elderly lady from Syria that lives down the street. And she's giving me tomato plants. Thank you. One thing that I would love to do though is paint our house. Maybe like yes. a yellow. We are definitely going to paint the house. Oh, here's a, so if you have made it this long in the video, comment what color you would paint the house i don't know if i'll listen to you because if you comment a weird color i don't know he ain't painting it purple let me tell you and he ain't painting it no pink, pink no purple but i'm thinking yellow maybe if you have followed us over the years thank you if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe we want our subscribers to go up 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 up, 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 up. up. Why, Russ? and chris love, love you a long, long time. time from st petersburg if you're in the St. Pete area and you want a realtor or a home inspection or a drone pilot or massage, or if you want to rent a pontoon boat, I gave you some options. And this is not a sponsored video.